Hello Retro Gamers and welcome back to Retro Games Forever. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe if you want to see all future retro gaming videos that I do. Right, I'm going to be setting this emulator up. It's on Play Store for Android devices. It's the 2600 MU. Of course, it's the Atari 2600 emulator. The main reason I'm doing this video is because emulation at the moment is so popular on Android there's a lot of handhelds being released. There's tablets, mobile phones, and of course, Android boxes. If you're new to emulation, you won't have a clue what you're doing. So that's why I'm doing these videos. Look back, I have done a few videos of different systems. I am going to be covering nearly every emulator on Play Store. Like I said, hit that subscribe. Right, so once you've got this emulator, I advise you to get a file manager. I'm using this one. A lot of devices do come with file managers, but like I said, just go on Play Store and download a file manager. So the next thing you need to do, of course, is get your games. I can't tell you where to get them, but it's so easy. Just go on Google, type in Atari 2600 full ROM sets, and they will be there. They'll probably be zipped. If it's easy to just unzip, just get and unzip. Uh, off Play Store right so once you've done that you've got your games your emulator your file manager next thing you need to do is put them wherever you would like to put them on your device either SD card or your main storage now I've got my games on my main storage so once you've got your games downloaded they will appear in your downloads just transfer them to our SD card and main storage. I've got mine on my main storage. As you can see there at Terry 2600. To make a folder, click the three dots at the top right. New folder and then just name Terry 2600. Open this up. Now as you can see, all my games are there. But I have got folders because I've got that many homebrew games. I've got a few other games that I've put in folders because for future videos. So you can make any folder, you can put favourites, your best Activision games, whatever, sports games, put them in a folder. I advise you to put either a number before, so if you're saying sports games, put O1 or A, because they then will appear at the top when you open your emulator, so you're not scrolling through to find them. So once we've done that, it's organised everything. We need to open up the emulator. So this is what you'll be met with. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to find our games. So load game, you'll be met with this. Storage devices, as you can see in the middle, that's your SD card. You see the number, that is the description of my SD card. It will be different for everybody's SD card. So like I say, click on that if they're on the SD card, like say, find your folder, what you've created. So I'll go back. You always go back, bottom, or click storage on the arrows. So storage media. And as you can see, I've got my games, the Terry 2600, the folder that I created. And as you can see again, my folders with my own brew games in my pitfall apps and then the normal games. Uh, a lot of people go on about retro arch. It is good retro arch, but a lot of times some games it doesn't pick up, it doesn't play zip files, this will play zip files, and it also it's very easy to add your own games. I'll show you how to add games later on in the video. So we're going to go back once we find our game. So they are at the top. Back. Right. Next thing we need to do is on screen input setup. Now, this, I'm using a Bluetooth controller, but if you haven't got a Bluetooth controller, click on use virtual gamepad. Just click it on. I'm going to just turn that back off because I'm using a Bluetooth controller. As you can see, you can see the controller, you select reset, 
turbo on your your trigger button there. So we're going to go back. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to just go into gamepad input setup, and I'm going to turn on the controller. And as you can see at the bottom, Pro Controller connecting, and it's appeared at the bottom. So I'm going to click on that. Now the first thing we're going to press on is set in-game actions. Right, you can have save and load. I'm using L1, R1. So click on that. It's whatever you want to use on, on your control. I prefer them. Open system actions. I'm using the right analog thumb. And then at the bottom, open menu. I'm using the left analog thumb. I'll explain about them when we open up the emulator. So we're going to go back. And again. And now we're going to go into set joystick keys press up up on your controller and then save again right down left leave the the left up right up you don't need to bother with them and then your trigger button i'm using a like i said i've got a b c d on this controller so you could use them for save so it's entirely up to you so we'll go back again the arrow at the top now we're going to console switch keys because you know the Atari had a few buttons on there and weren't on the controller. So we've got left difficulty, right difficulty. I'm using L2, uh, 2 You've got your black and white, which we don't need to bother with that. I don't even know why I've mapped that one. Now you've got select, which a lot of games have different variations on, on there, especially Space Invaders. I think it was about 112 on that. And then reset is your start, so let's say, just reset and press start on your controller. Back again with the arrow. Back again. I think we've done everything there. Yeah. Back again. And now we're going to play a game. Stage media. This will automatically save once you've done this. Once you've found your games, I will show you. So like, so I say I come out of there, I'll just explain, close it down, go back on, load game, and there they are. So you don't have to keep doing that once you've found your runs. Right, so let's just play Asteroids. Press start, or if you want a different variation, as you can see, select. Your difficulties. Now I'll press start on that. Now there I've just pressed the left analog thumb, which will take to this. Top arrow again takes you back to your games. So there you have your games. Now I'm going to close the simulator. I'm going to show you how easy it is to add games. And it also will play zip file. So I'm going to close that. So say you've downloaded games, or when you download, of course. So I've got two games here. I've got Adventure, which is zipped, and Adventures of Tron. You don't have to unzip games on this emulator, which is a great thing. So I'm going to move. Main storage. Terra 2600 and paste. So say if you download some new old brew games, you just open up that, paste them in there, back again. Come off that, back to my emulator, load game, and as you can see, Adventures there, now it's easy to add games, so simple, in Adventure Tron. Click on Adventure, there you are, press Start. Yeah. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to say I'm playing it a bit. I'm going to save it. So that's L1. Press R1 and it takes you back to where you saved it. Now I'm going to show you how to put smoothing on. So once again, L 
on your analog. Takes you back to this. Arrow again, back at the bottom. Go to options, video, image effect, scale to X. Go back at the bottom, all the arrows at the top, so true. Back again, keep pressing back, close menu, and you can see. It has added smoothing. I'm going to take that back off. So you just go back again. Options, video, image effect, off. Back, 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 close menu. And there we have it. Like I say, load a game, all your games are there. Go into your folder, back again. It's just so simple. If you do run into any issues, just put them in the comments. I'll get straight back to you. Like I say, I'm going to be doing a lot of emulation setups. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it helps you out. Enjoy the Atari 2600 Classics. Right, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.